I have a dream. I dream about Slav month becoming an official holiday, so we don't have to work a single day in May. Hello there fellow mountaineers, it's me again, Mountain General, bringing you your daily dose of Hearts of Iron 4. And today we are playing Novum Vexilum for our Slav month video. So yeah, if you are enjoying May as I, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe because we are really really close to 100,000 subscribers. And also if you want to support the channel and you have extra change, you can always become a channel member or buy a cool t-shirt. Support the true BLM. Now my problem with all the modern day mods is the lack of interesting focus trees. But today I will try to carve out my own path and make it as interesting as possible. Wake up. Yugoslavia is slowly dying. They ruined. So yeah, I feel like everyone gets the memo that today I will attempt to save Yugoslavia and see what else I can do here in Europe and in the world. So first of all, our situation, well, we are still flying half the ship, that's at least something positive. Next up, Milosevic, my G, I feel like we won't stick with you, we need to return to tradition, we need Tito back. At least his grandson. And well, for our industry, just don't worry about it. I just love modern day mods where you have to produce shit ton of equipment to sustain your army. Isn't that really fun? Now the situation demands to be strong, so we need to go for the national strength. Oh, Switzerland joins the UN. Unbelievable. Anyway, we'll go for the path of equality and slowly we are getting the communist party back in fashion, baby. Now let's go, more support for us. Oh shit, Israel, quick, hi the news before YouTube demonetizes this video. If Susan asks, this region of the world does not exist. It will be just a blank space on the map, yeah. And now with 150 political power we can go ahead and seize the means of production. But how about you instead went ahead and seize some means of reproduction with some bitches. Anyway, we get one civilian factory in Montenegro. Ah, another war criminal elected as US president. I mean, we too know thing or two about war crimes, wink wink. Now after revolutionary committee was completed, I feel like we have enough percentage of communism to hold a snap election and to have a communist takeover with Josip Yoshka Bros. In the end now we are Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and now Yoshka here has declared that we will reform Yugoslavia once again, I will just core all the territory with tool pack mode that's all and yeah the new system of governance we'll go with one man will rule all and yeah now we just have to wait and yeah, if we just had focus tree we would most likely core all these territories by focuses but now we need to act and made up our own scenario here because it is what it is and for our national anthem we will use the drip uzmarshala tita and that's best described by austerity and strength. Now this is good to know, the majority of our troops appear to be indifferent to our regime change. So let's go, Yugoslavia is back in fashion, baby. Now yeah, this doesn't look very good, it will take this thing, I don't really know what that is, but for some reason it's important, so let's act that it isn't. Ah, we do be spicy here today. Anyway, the provisional government of the Kosovo Republic there no 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 not yet i feel like kosovo will be yugoslavia this time around now after we have done the will of the people that gives us two percent recruitable population it is time to finally focus on our industry now the good thing about fighting the bosnians is that we have more troops than they have so we will just haul all their forces and sneak into sarajevo tuzla and Banya Luka. So in order to end all brother wars, we need to go and start the brother war. I know it's kinda sad, but that's what we got to do. And also we can start our justification on Macedonia as well. Welcome back to Yugoslavia, my brother. Oh, even the gaming intensifies in Afghanistan. Now Macedonia will be little tricky, we just need them to leave Skopje for just a little moment. Or maybe not, we'll just have to grind them to the ground. 
Yes, some military XP won't be that bad. So I am sorry, I'm sorry, I have to end brother wars by causing some brotherly conflicts. So yeah, thank you very much for the extra equipment and resources. Now it's time for the real challenge, the Croatia. Now the war against Croatia will be little bit tricky, but we will use very weak infantry divisions to just hold them off and, and we will use our mechanized and motorized divisions to quickly overrun Croatian positions. So we just have to hope that we are successful here. I mean Zagreb is already ours, that was easy. And yeah, we we have trapped Croats here in the north, nobody around Zagreb, and yeah, we are just slowly marching to the shores. We just need split and the war is over. We can even close some encirclements for a good measure. So yeah, Yugoslavia, one step closer to being back together. And now lastly, Slovenia is just a cherry on top, so we have ensured no more brother wars by going into several brother wars. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's try to get Bulgaria into our new union before they join NATO. Oh, I feel like we are just going maybe too late. Yeah, even Bulgaria joined. Hey guys, it was just a prank. Nothing to be worried about. Unlike the Albanians. Yeah, we need to bully one country. At least one. You know, to truly unite our population, we just need this little victory over the Albanians. Ah, the Iran has declared gaming as well. Ah, fuck man, you can't be serious. Just few more days and I could have conquered the whole Albania. This is some fucking bullshit. Yeah, we are just surrounded by by NATO and the EU. We can't do anything but we will go for the pacifist neutral communist Yugoslavia. Oh, you see, this is another example of the American imperialism. But soon I will pimp out my intelligence agency and we will do some little trolling over the Americans. Oh, did the Americans just lose in Afghanistan? Because it seems like that all of their forces were most likely surrounded here. Yeah, but Iraq is not doing fine. Now, what the actual fuck is this peace deal? The Iraq is still existent, just these two cities and everything was split between USA and Turkey. The dark days for the Middle East indeed. Oh, the world is getting a little bit spicy here. Especially here in Africa we have just two conflicts. So we will see if this continent can cause a world war to happen. Oh yeah, what did I say? World War Africa, let's go! Another country declares gaming. Well, I should have went for the Islamic states of Yugoslavia. Maybe next time. Now Operation Hot Dog is being prepared. No, my Yugoslavian GigaChat agent was captured. Just with two spies, a spy network is useless. Now again, on my way to destabilize the USA. Or at least try to. You know, Republic of Moldova would be a significant development. If it really happened here, I don't know what is happening, but they didn't do anything. They are doing just a little trolling on the world news. And now let's go ahead and give Bernie Sanders a shout out. Oh, it's only 0 0.00 per day but hopefully it can go up question mark or can we even destabilize the america it's kind of not working i feel like we need more spies so we will try to diplomatically pressure cuba into making a faction with us not gonna lie i have to say that i'm fairly disappointed in all this shit so uh, yeah i don't really know what now you know i know what we will do we will just go on a little rampage to syria i don't recall venezuela going into war but here interesting content in south america question mark oh now is this a world war moment it seems like that yes Okay, Asian Federation against NATO, let's go! Oh, even Taliban has joined the Chinese team, what are the odds? And nicely India is coming into the mix as a counterbalance. So yeah, this will be a very fun ride for the Chinese and the whole West. 
Now actually, let's pay for a front row seat so we can see what is actually happening with the Chinese here. And it seems like they are already being pushed here throughout the Kashmir region from India. Oh, look at the brave Polish go, they have just obliterated the whole Macau. They are going deep into China. So yeah, world is on fire, so don't mind if I do. <laughs> Not yet, China. And as you can see, Bashar al-Assad is deploying very strange tactics tactics of not defending his port. So yeah, let's see how my new infantry will go. I feel like this will be maybe too hard on me. Nah, this was a fucking war. A lot of my people died, but now we have our own little Yugoslavian Levant. And the yeah, China made a new faction and they kicked out the North Korea and Afghanistan. So yeah, this is getting rather interesting indeed. But now I will make my own team here. And well, while we can, let's jump into Lebanon as well. Oh yeah, North Korea and Afghanistan just lost and um, this doesn't seem like an unified Korea to me. I mean, why? You have just created a second Korea for no reason. Oh yeah, now China is not looking too healthy here, I would say. Another century of humiliation is incoming for them. But we do not care what is happening in the world because now we are going for our little expansion as war. And yeah, basically I'm just trying to get as many members to my family as it is possible. We will be friends by force. You see, all is good. And you see I'm doing something good because our economy is now booming. Yeah, this is the Yugoslavian economic might. And now China was defeated, I'm just worried to look over what is happening, oh fuck, oh shit. You just took a massive shit into every Chinese man's mouth. I just want some new friends, that's all, you can't judge me for that. I'm a good guy here. Welcome Jordan to our friendship Entente. You know, this shit almost busted my ear, so many people have joined the European Union. You don't want there a communist Yugoslavia? No? I should go fuck myself? Okay. I'm basically creating a European Union, but like, in Africa. It's way more fun here actually. Oh yeah, we are definition of the Yugoslavian power. Now this is one spicy timeline of 2006. Oh yeah, this is one of the most strangest modern day games I have ever had. I'm sorry Mr. Kadafovic, but Yugoslavians are gonna take over your country to add you to our treaty of friendship. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. I quite enjoy having this strong Yugoslavian army on my hands. And the world is getting more spicy day by day. Hopefully we will see the Bolivians reclaim some of their coast back. Oh shit oh fuck, Kosovo and independent? Not on my watch. Now Kosovo is Yugosla- oh fuck, they are guaranteed but... Fuck it, we are going down for this. It's running so slowly and this game is just not worth it, I will just let them end me here. You know, fuck it, bring it on NATO, I'm not worried. Oh, kurva, <laughs> they just nuked Belehrad. No, this is our end sick, this is how we are going down. The communist cock block versus the NATO. Everyone quick, get into the defensive donut. World has never seen act of bravery this strong. Wrong. We are going to fight against all the odds, no matter how many times they nuke Belehrad. Oh, I forgot that I have planes. What are you going to do? Nuke me again? We are the masters of partisan warfare, you cannot defeat us this easily. Our last attack is a frontal assault on every side. We are going down, it's true chance. But at last the brave Yugoslavians were outnumbered 1 billion to 1. And hey, we still have our puppets, so... Uh, but now we are social democrats. We have been just butchered so goddamn hard that we only have piece of Serbia and Macedonia. But now we can apply for the EU membership. Oh yeah, we are the European Union member. After all, I feel like this is cursed enough and I will leave it here where the Italians have created a slow start for the restoration of Roman Empire. So if you enjoyed today's little rambler fail, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe because 
we are nearing those sweet sweet 100,000 subscribers. And as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to the Laminator and Razornon for being the highest channel members.